Betaflight has a reputation for being complicated, difficult to learn, and slow to set up. But I'm going to put that to the test today. This is the new Pro, uh, GEPRC Smart 3.5. I need it to be flying because I'm doing a review of the new GEPRC Naked Hero 8. I'll put a link down in the video description if the video is out. Um, <clears throat> and I am in a hurry. So I'm going to see how fast I can set this up, and I'm going to take you along with me. I'm Joshua Bardwell. You're going to learn something today. Don't even roll the intro. Let's just go right into it. Now, to be fair, this is a bind and fly. So a lot of the setup has already been done for me, but still, here we go. First thing we got to do is bind it to the goggles. This is DJI. So we're going to wait for the green light here. We're going to press the button. Light turns red. We're in binding mode. We've got the goggles here. You got to bind the goggles before the controller or because when you bind the goggles, it resets the controller bind on the air unit, the Vista, whatever. Goggles are powering up. Goggles are powered up. Okay, bound. Goggles are bound. Now we're gonna do the controller. We're gonna press this button again on the Vista. And on the controller, okay, one, two, three, come on, there we go, bound, okay, great, okay, oh, they've already set up aux modes and everything, okay, with that done, we're going to plug into Betaflight. Oh, that's the Vista, dumbass. Uh, oh, flight controller, flight controller. Plug the wrong USB cord in to the wrong place. Okay, bit flight. Uh, what do we got going on here? 12.97 for us. Oh, this is a, uh, this is a lithium ion. So yeah, it's okay at 12 volts. It's fine. It can get down to 2.5 volts. It's okay. We'll leave that alone. Yeah, it's not happy. Um, next check, receiver. Check the receiver mapping. All the receiver channels are moving correctly. All the endpoints are pr pretty close to correct. 1,000, not that close to correct. I might could recalibrate my DJI controller, but okay, we don't need to worry about that. Um, stick low threshold 1050. Always set that to 1010 uh, because my endpoints are correct and that gets rid of dead band at the bottom of the throttle. Uh, stick high threshold 1990. That's not critical, but it's nice to have them be symmetrical just for my own. OCD. Um, we'll save that. We'll go to the modes tab. What has GetRC given us? We got an arming mode. Now, hopefully, that's aux one, and arm is going to be pushed away. That's how I like to do it. Great. That's ready to go. Angle mode. I want on the right switch. No, that's beeper. What's angle mode? Okay, that's not how I set this up. I'm going to change this. We're going to change angle mode over to the right switch, middle position. That's good. Beeper is right switch down position. That's good. Horizon mode, I don't want. We'll save that. And uh, turtle mode. Oh, yeah, okay. My bad. So let's make the beeper be this switch down position. Great. And then turtle mode. Why did we reset? That shouldn't be. That shouldn't have happened. That's not encouraging, but okay. Beeper, turtle mode, turtle mode, turtle mode, turtle mode, turtle mode. Where's turtle mode? Flip crash. Add range, auto, it's gonna be here and here, save. Okay, let's check my, we got arming, arming, angle, middle position, off, turtle mode, down position, beeper. Okay, great, that's ready to go. Um, let's just go to motors tab. I understand the risks and we'll try arming. Good, turtle mode. Oh, I got an arm. Turtle mode working as expected. Failsafe test. We should do a failsafe test. It's always a good idea. Armed. Failsafe works. Uh, mm, OSD. Set up the OSD. There we go. 
here in the there we go uh, here in I have a text file with my OSD configuration for DJI we'll just copy paste that I'm sure the GIPRC one is fine I just have a way that I like it Whoop. save and then that is with uh, GPS enabled but this quad doesn't have a GPS on it so I'm just gonna go in and turn off GPS 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 uh, altitude we don't need and RSSI we don't need because this is DJI controller not crossfire so we'll turn that off and save boom we're done anything else I would change now that oh, the clock is officially stopped PID tuning oh I could put my rates in oh my rates yeah no I would put my own rates in okay start the clock again the clock is not officially stopped I screwed up my rates I need to get my rates in here are my rates copy CLI Okay, clock stopped. <laughs> now, if um, you didn't follow any of that or all of that, I have a tutorial where I set up the GEPRC Rocket Lite. And the beauty, if you will, of DJI is that basically all the quads running DJI set up more or less the same. Like GEPRC has done all the foundational heavy lifting, set up the motor, the ESC and so forth. And all you need to do is basically bind your controller, set up your aux modes and the things I did in this video. If that was too fast for you, there's a much more detailed tutorial linked in the video description and you can go check that out. Time to go fly. You guys, I don't know where I am and I, I don't know what's going to happen, but if I don't make it out of this, I just want to know that you subscribe to my channel or, or maybe join my Patreon or... Or click one of click one of these videos I picked out for you. <laughs>